Hello and welcome to Knowledge Park. Today we are going on a fascinating journey inside the human body to understand one of its most complex and amazing systems, the female reproductive system. Whether you're a student, a woman wanting to understand your body better, or a supportive partner, this video is for you. We will explain everything in simple language. We will cover the organs and their functions, common health issues, and most importantly, the food, exercises, and habits you can adopt to maintain excellent reproductive health. So let's begin. First, let's get familiar with the map. The internal reproductive organs are safely located in the lower part of the abdomen, in what we call the pelvis. The ovaries. These are two small, almond-shaped organs. Think of them as the command centers. They have two main jobs. First, to store and release eggs every month, and second, to produce the key hormones, estrogen and progesterone. The fallopian tubes. These are two thin tunnels connecting the ovaries to the uterus. Their ends have finger-like projections called fimbriae that gently sweep the released egg into the tube. This is usually where the egg meets the sperm. This meeting is called fertilization. The uterus or womb. This is a pear-shaped muscular organ. It's incredibly strong and stretchy. If a fertilized egg implants here, the uterus is where a baby grows for nine months. Its inner lining, called the endometrium, builds up and sheds each month, which is what we know as the menstrual period. The cervix. This is the lower, narrow part of the uterus that acts as its gatekeeper. It has a small opening that allows menstrual blood to flow out and sperm to flow in. During pregnancy, it stays tightly closed to protect the baby, and during childbirth, it opens wide to allow the baby to pass through. The vagina. This is a muscular canal that connects the cervix to the outside of the body. It serves as the passage for menstrual flow, the birth canal during delivery, and the site for sexual intercourse. Just like any other part of the body, these organs can face health challenges. It's important to know about them so you can seek help early. The medical department you should consult for any of these issues is gynecology. Polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS, a common condition where the ovaries develop many small cysts and may produce excess androgens male hormones. This can lead to irregular periods, weight gain, and fertility issues. Ovarian cysts, fluid-filled sacs on the ovary. Most are harmless and go away on their own, but some can cause pain or need treatment. Endometriosis, a painful condition where the tissue similar to the uterine lining grows outside the uterus, like on the ovaries or fallopian tubes, causing severe pain and infertility. Fibroids, non-cancerous growths in the muscular wall of the uterus. They are very common and can sometimes cause heavy bleeding or pain. Pelvic inflammatory disease, PID. An infection of the reproductive organs, often caused by bacteria from sexually transmitted infections. It can lead to scarring and blockages in the fallopian tubes. Ectopic pregnancy, a medical emergency where a fertilized egg implants outside the uterus, usually in a fallopian tube. It cannot result in a normal pregnancy and requires immediate medical care. If you experience symptoms like severe pelvic pain, very heavy periods, unusual bleeding, or persistent discomfort, please do not hesitate to visit a gynecologist. Now let's talk about the most empowering part, how you can support your reproductive health through your daily choices. Foods to nourish your system. The eat more list. Iron rich foods to replenish blood loss during periods. Eat leafy greens like spinach, lentils, beans, and pumpkin seeds. Omega-3 fatty acids help reduce inflammation and may help with period pain found in fatty fish like salmon as well as walnuts and flax seeds calcium and vitamin D essential for hormonal balance and overall health get them from milk yogurt cheese eggs and sunlight whole grains and fiber 
Foods like oats, brown rice, and whole wheat help regulate blood sugar, which is very important for managing conditions like PCOS. Antioxidant-rich fruits and vegetables, colorful foods like berries, oranges, bell peppers, and broccoli fight oxidative stress and keep your cells healthy. Healthy habits to build. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water throughout the day. It helps transport hormones and flush out toxins. Practice safe sex. This is crucial to prevent infections that can harm your fallopian tubes and cause PID. Manage stress. High stress can disrupt your menstrual cycle. Try meditation, yoga, or simply listening to music you love. Regular health checkups. Don't wait for a problem to see your gynecologist. Regular pap smears and examinations are key for prevention. Just as important as what you do is what you avoid. Habits and foods to limit. The avoid list. Smoking. This is extremely harmful. It can damage eggs, advance early menopause, and increase the risk of cancer. Excessive alcohol and caffeine. Both can disrupt your hormonal balance and affect fertility. Highly processed foods. Sugary drinks, junk food, and refined carbs can cause inflammation and worsen conditions like PCOS. Sedentary lifestyle. Sitting for too long can reduce blood flow to the pelvic region. Beneficial breathing and exercises. Deep belly breathing. This simple practice reduces stress, improves blood circulation to your pelvic organs, and can even help with period cramps. Sit comfortably, place a hand on your belly, and inhale deeply through your nose, feeling your belly expand. Exhale slowly through your mouth. Yoga, poses like butterfly pose. Bada, Konasana, child's pose, Balasana, and cobra pose, Bhujangasana are excellent for strengthening pelvic muscles and improving ovarian and uterine blood flow. Walking and Kegel exercises. A daily 30-minute walk works wonders. Kegel exercises where you clench and release the muscles you use to stop urinating, strengthen the pelvic floor, which supports all your reproductive organs. Science is always learning. Recent research is exploring the deep connection between gut health and hormonal balance, suggesting that a healthy gut microbiome can positively influence estrogen levels. There's also a growing focus on how environmental factors can impact reproductive health. So, there you have it. Your reproductive system is a vital part of your overall well-being. By understanding how it works, being aware of potential issues, and most importantly, by fueling it with good food, positive habits, and gentle exercise, you can take charge of your health. Remember, your body is incredible, and listening to it is the first step toward caring for it. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and share it with someone you care about. Take care and be healthy.